guys, in today's review will be on this pre-grouping rolling stock from Hornby. And this is the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway Prussian or Midnight Blue four and six wheel coaches, mainly six wheeled. These are era two. All the codes you need for specific coaches will be in the detail parts because it's easier than putting them on the screen now. In this review, we'll have a deep dive into all the coaches to see what you get. And at the end, I'll give you my opinion. So here it goes, let's see if they're worth the money, shall we? Starting off at the detail parts you get with these coaches. With both four and six wheel coaches from Hornby, depending on the length, depending on how long the footboards are, they are plastic and they do bend, they're quite easy to add, which you'll see at the end of the detail part. We also have a leaflet, which tells you how to add the footboard and gives you the instructions as well. Then on the other side, it tells you about the lighting system and how to get into the coaches, which you just get your thumb under and lift it out. It's just a couple of clips holding it in place. It's quite good, actually. The lighting system, the ones we're going to look at, don't have any lights because I don't like lights in my coaches for some reason. But you can buy them separate from Hornby, and it tells you all about it and how to do it. As we do a look now at the ends of these coaches, I want to say batch two coaches. These are some differences to batch one. First off, the buffers on batch one are concave, they go in a little bit. They're still uh, metal, but not sprung. On, on these ones, they are metal, not sprung, and they're flat. All of them are flat on batch two, as I want to call it. Especially on these SDJR ones, they are flat. But on the buffer beam, you do get the buffer beam and housing in black. You also get a hook which is molded. You also get which looks like to be a vacuum pipe or air pipe there too. And we also get applied is the standard NEM small tension lock couplers. They're on all of them. We get three versions of the end as far as I am aware. We get the end which has, I want to say, a Stradley look with the two windows and a few steps going up. Again, these are all in black. We also get molded on the lamp irons, which personally I don't mind. It's one less thing to fall off. There's no lining on this side at all. We do have flush glazing windows on it as well. We also have a rain ducket as well on the brakes that have a little glass in as well, which is a nice touch. Then we get version two, which has a black paneling, no lining, molded on lamp irons again and that's about it then the third version we get we have some with three steps going up again a black panel in no lining and we have a handrail they are the three versions that i believe you get with this somerset and dorset ones the one with the windows is a brake but also can i add when you look onto the roof the ones with the handles on top of the roof and where the handles are is that means that's where the steps go the ones that doesn't have any handles on the roof means there's no steps just little subtle detail differences. Starting off at the third brake coach. This is a six wheeled third brake coach. All of the coaches are in this Prussian blue or midnight blue, depending on your preference, livery. And they look quite stunning actually. We do have some paneling picked out in gold, some gold lining on the paneling, which is quite nice. On this version, we do have a guard section it does have guard written on it and we do have a small handle not sure if it's uh, separately applied or molding but either way they do look quite nice in that gold or bronze livery they have the handle in we also have the number of this coach which is number 72 when we move along to the passenger area we do have a crest for the somerset and dorset joint railway which i believe is on all the coaches we also have the initials as well we do have the windows picked out in a wood wood effect where the window would drop down to open the coach door and this is a free door passenger third brake i've already fitted the footboards down the bottom Again, they're part of the detail part, you don't have to add them if you don't want to. And you can see the axles and springs underneath as well. All the coaches on here do have the oil on the roof, oil pots on the roof, and they are in a black. As we delve into the coach, I have managed to take the coach apart. You just get your thumbnail or fingernail underneath the chassis of the wheels and the body of the coach. And it just easily pops away, it's just, I think it's six clips to hold it in place. Pretty easy to do. So let's move on to the roof. Like I said, all of these do have the oil pots on and they are in black. They are separately applied. We also have some rain duckets going from one end to another with a slight bow at either end as well. We do have a black handrail at the top as well. 
Onto the chassis of the wheels now. The chassis of the wheels is plastic, but what you do get is a weight in the center to give the coach some, some weight basically. And that's the only thing you get really on the chassis apart from the buffers either end and some of the details that Hornby have added for you. Most importantly, when you get in and you can pull it out, you can pull the insert out with the seats in. These seats are in red. There's no luggage racks or anything like that. In the guards compartment, we do have most importantly, a wheel, and we also have some wood flooring. Like I said, these are quite easy to clip together and on and off. On the seats though, there is a gap. It's raised on one of them, simply because you can put your Hornby Maglite batteries underneath there, and that's how you light the coach if you wanted to. This coach here is a first class six wheeled coach. Again, it's in the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway Midnight Blue, Push and Blue, depending on your preference. And this coach is number three. We do have the handrails for the doors, like I said, in a bronze color or copper color. We also have, again, lining on the wood paneling. Again, we have the initials of the company for this coach, which is the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway. We also have the number of the coach, again, which is three. And then we also have a crest as well. I believe this is a four door coach. As we move along to the sole bar, or the underneath of the coach. The sole bar itself does have some rivets and I believe it's in the same livery as the coach body. So it's in the Somerset and Dorset blue. You can also see a bit more clearly here because they haven't added footboards or anything. You can see the axles and springs and you can see the wheels, which I believe are in black or the wood effect. There as well, I know the middle wheel is not quite on the track yet, but just showing it how it is. As we dive inside this coach, this coach being a first class coach does have Compartment separators by the looks of it on, on the seats. These seats do have armrests and they are in blue. Again, we have the raised area on the coach simply for the battery, the Maglite system, if you wanted to add that. On to the chassis of the coach again. It has the weight in to give it some weight. Fair enough, there's not much detail to look at. You see where the clips go, and I think there's six free of a side to clip it in. And then we get onto the coach itself, body, the roof again has the Oil lamps, which are in black, which are separately applied. We have a rain ducket as well, and then we have a small handle too. The oil lamps are in different positions to others. This coach here is a third class, six wheeled, in the SDJR livery. It is number 109, and it's a six wheeled version. Again, like most of these coaches, we do have door handles. We also have the number of the coach. We also have the class of the coach, which is third. We have the crest in the center. I believe this is a five compartment going by the oil pots on top and the number of handles as well. On all the coaches, if you look closely at the doors, you can see which look like hinges. It's very small to see, but they are there. They're on all the coaches. Again, we have the wood surround inside the windows as well. Again, we have the wheels down below and the axles and springs. There's no footballs added this time around, but they, they are crisply molded all, all the axles and springs they do look good. And so does all the printing as well. As we look inside these coaches, again, it's the usual story. This being a third class, we do have red seats, no armrests, no separation things behind the seats. There's none of that stuff. We do have that raised area again for the batteries if you wanted to do the batteries. The chassis itself, again, is a six-wheeled one, and it's mainly made of plastic. It does have a weight. All of them do have a weight, but I just thought I'd show you them. We also have, um, on top of the body, we have five oil pots. We have a rain ducket, and we have a handrail on one side as well. All these coaches do have a glazing bar. But from the outside, you can't tell, but just thought I'd let you know, all of them have a massive glazing bar inside, probably to keep the cost down. As we take a look at the... Brake luggage coach, or the four brake as I like to call it. Again, you can see this is a little bit shorter than the six wheels we had. This is a four wheeled version. Do wish Hornby would do a six wheeled luggage brake, personally. Again, it's in the wonderful SDJR Prussian Blue or Midnight Blue. The number of this coach is eight, and that's just above the crest on the panel in there. We have quite a lot of paneling again, it's in gold where it's picked out. Like I said, we have the crest, we have the initials of the company. We also have, when the guard area is, we also have two windows with a wood surround in. We have a grab handle on there too. And we also have the word, I think, guards as well, below the door, door windows. And then we have the initials again. We do have a ducket for the guards to look out. As we move down, as you can tell, this is a four-wheeled one. 
Again, we do have the wheels, which I think are wooden wheels, meant to be wooden wheels, but they have uh, painted them black, which I don't mind. Overall, it's quite a crisp livery. I do like it. We also see the axle wheels and springs as well. As we do a deep dive into the baggage one now. Again, this being a baggage one, we only have a small glazing bar where the guard area is. The other side has nothing where the guard looks out, we can see the hand, uh, hand wheel through. There's no, there's glazing there, but it's so flush, there's no bar at all. Again, I believe we have a weight underneath the flooring for it. Mine seems to be stuck, so I can't get it off. There's a clip down the bottom, you get a fingernail in and I can't seem to do that. But at least we have wood flooring. We also have, again, the wheel. The roof itself has two oil pots, a small handrail, on the guard side and it also has some rain ducats as well very basic but i do like it i do like the touch of the wood flooring and the guards wheel as we do an underneath look at the six wheeled variant of these coaches we do get a middle sled which can't be removed for the set of wheels but you get it anyway and it does move quite freely if i'm honest with you you also get the hornby made in china branding as well and if you look along the underneath you can see a few holes some of them are for alternative details for different variants in the chassis like for gas or electric i believe and brake differences we do have a slot just past the middle wheels or just before the middle wheels depending on your preference which originally was for the lighting you just pulled a tab and the lights came on it helped it through transit so they wouldn't keep coming on and off because it was magnetic we also have nam couplings at the end as well again we have the axles and springs as well and I think we have brake shoes and brakes. They are molded, but they're, and I think they all line up correctly, even though there's a little bit of movement. But as we move on to the four wheeled baggage, we do get the Hornby branding. We get the made in China as well. If you look closely, either side of the wheels, you can see the holes for the footballs, which are made of plastic, which I'll show you in a minute how to add. We also have some sort of separately applied piping under there. I think it's probably to help with the braking by the looks of it. We also have some holes for different details, variants for different lighting systems that will be on top. We do have metal wheels. We do have the standard Hornby style couplers as well. We do have some bracing molded too. So if you want to add the footballs, these are plastic and they are rather easy. There's four holes, so there's two. It's this side of the wheels and two there. You just quite simply just put them in the hole like so um, they just basically just slot in like that if you want to use glue you can but then I, I personally don't you can take them off if you want to take them off you can and it's pretty easy anyone can do it if I can anyone can do it and you can also see the under frame detail as well
So yeah guys, that's the end of the running session and the review. Before I tell you what was pulling it, there is a second radius and points test. They always get asked about them if they, these coaches can do it, especially the six-wheeled coaches. So coming up now is a clip of them doing points and second radius. So yeah, we can do points and second radius pretty well, gotta be honest with you. The loco that was pulling this train was uh, the only Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway livery loco I have in my collection, and that's the 1P. The price I paid for these coaches, I got mine from Hornby, because everywhere else was sold out when they were announced. I, I paid £36 and I think 95p each. But I think if you shop around, you probably can still get them in other model shops at a little cheaper price. I think it's £32. For me, there's nothing wrong in these coaches. They, they, they run quite well. Got plenty of detail. Delivery is crisp. There's no errors or splodges or glue marks that I can see. Nothing fell off in transit, which is always a good thing. I do like the addition of the black oil pots on the roof. They are nice. My only criticism, if it is a criticism, I only wish Hornby would do a lot of four-wheeled variants of these coaches just to mix it up and also like I said in my detail parts I wish Hornby would use the chassis of their six-wheeled to do a six-wheeled version of a baggage car I think that's missing from the range but that's just my preference but the coaches themselves nothing wrong with them highly recommend them they look stunning the, the printing is wonderful I really can't say enough nice things about these it's probably the, the best livery four and six wheel coaches I have in my collection and £36 isn't a bad price this day and age for rolling stock, especially newish tooled rolling stock as well. So this was my review on the Hornby STJR six wheeled and four wheeled baggage coaches from Hornby. I hope you enjoyed the review, hopefully I'll see you in the next one, so please take care and goodbye.